Um, it's obviously been a great start to the season for Celtic so far. What's your analysis of the opening games in the campaign so far? Well, I just think uh, I got really lucky to, to get to a team that it's working very hard to improve. Uh, I'm really happy to be part of this and, of course, of the results that we've started with these first games. Uh, it's, it's very good for us, but also we want to make sure we keep improving our performance during the games, even, even though we're winning in, in those games. Uh, that's what we should aim for, uh, so that we have uh, a lot of tools to when the games get tougher. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, the game against Glasgow women coming up at the weekend, they are having a difficult start to the season, sitting in bottom place. What sort of game do you expect from them? And how, as a goalkeeper, knowing that it might be a slightly quieter one, do you prepare for the game coming up? Well, I just, uh, I don't like to expect like anything rather than just uh, thinking that team that is going to play against you is going to be, it's going to have the best day for them. And we need to be prepared to to try to stop their game and to make sure we find our a good pace in those games and uh, just be ready for anything. You know, every game it's different, and you cannot expect a team to come and be weak. So it's not going to happen. And if you do that, then it's for sure it's going to be the opposite thing. So we just need to make sure um, we're there, thinking that it's. Uh, it's going to be because it, it could be a tough game, you know, you never know. You never know what's going to happen and something can switch the like the atmosphere or whatever. And uh, we just need to get ready and make sure we we have a good start. And then we we choose to to do the things we want to in the game. Obviously, as a goalkeeper, having the team not conceded a goal yet this season must be really pleasing. But does that add a certain element of pressure to you coming into the side? Or does it really strengthen the mentality that you've got in the team in front of you at how solid they have been? Yeah, I just uh, I think uh, that's a, a team uh, accomplishment for sure. I, I've always think that. And of course, as you don't get too many shots on your goal, then you you have low, less chances to get scored on. Uh, also, this means that we as goalkeepers need to be very focused during the 90 minutes or plus, because uh, sometimes you could you know after 10 minutes without touching a ball you can just go to the moon with your mind. But you just need to make sure we're we still focus and of course the team uh, has done a great job pressing, which is our our main goal, you know, to have the ball higher and this helps a lot uh, not to have many occasions against us. You're obviously one of the newer players in the side. How are you enjoying life at Celtic so far? Uh, very much. Uh, I think it's a great atmosphere here with the with all the girls and the coaches and uh, in the club in general. I'm really enjoying it. I just hope the weather doesn't get too bad <laughs> so I can keep doing it. <laughs> But yeah, it's been great. I, I just, uh, I like it very much. And obviously you've played at a, a high level and have had a great career so far. How does the level of the game in Scotland and the level of your teammates compare to perhaps the level that you've played at, at your previous clubs? Well, I think uh, it's getting there, like in the league, speaking about the league in general. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a good step that it's uh, now competing against some other teams that are be better prepared. But it's impressive how well the level is in the team. Having, in, like, uh, you know, if you have a league that is, it hasn't had the support for many years, uh, it's tough to have teams that are very high level, like, like Celtic or Rangers or Glasgow City that are competing in Champions League. So that's very impressive. And I think this also helps for the other teams in the league to, to improve and to get better. And you can just tell that it's growing, that it's growing up. Yeah, we've definitely seen it in the increase in crowds and things like that that are coming along to the game. Obviously, you have played in front of some massive crowds from a women's football background. What do you think we could do in Scotland to help achieve 
what you've seen in perhaps Spain where you've previously played? I just think it's um, it takes the, the effort from everyone, not just the players or the coaches, but also the fans, the media, and of course the clubs that are you know interested in getting the the job done for whatever things are needed to to improve. No, just not only uh, in football but all the areas around it. I think it's just uh, everyone's job to keep pushing and keep trying to get better as as little as you can, but also, I mean, always improving. What was it about Scotland or Celtic that made you choose this move to come here to the club? Uh, honestly, just the, the interest in the club, friend uh, of me being here, I just uh, take that as a very uh, nice compliment that some club is interested in you and uh, just makes you want to give your best for that team and enjoy training every day. So I think those are the keys to to being just uh, enjoying your work, which is uh, being a professional player, you know. So uh, that's basically the, the first thing. And obviously, after being here a few weeks, uh, of course, I'm liking the, the way we work and uh, just uh, the mindset that, that the team has to get better and better. And finally, from me, obviously we've heard from the manager over the course of the season about the club's ambitions for the season. What are your personal ambitions that you'd like to have achieved by the, the end of the campaign? Of course, just uh, improving all of the aspects of my game, uh, as it is every year, every season, but mostly just uh, being able to help the team in whatever it's needed, uh, if it's in the games or trainings or any anything that it's needed. Um, I wonder if um, the, how you're getting on with Chloe Logan and Rachel Johnston. Obviously, you're a very experienced keeper and these are two young but very um, talented keep, keepers with a big career ahead of them. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's, a, it's a special um, situation because they both ha have some injuries and uh, it's been hard to to get to work everyone at the same time, you know, because we have them there working also uh, in whatever they, they, they can do. But it's just been great as, uh, you know, uh, the interaction between us, it's just been great. They, they're really good uh, people and really good players. And we're just trying to uh, get as much as we can from each other. Uh, and just learn and evolve as a as a small team that are the goalkeepers. I mean, do you see yourself being a, a mentor to the two girls? No, not really. I mean, I just uh, I just try to to give my best and share it all with them, but also learn a lot from them. I mean, uh, every goalkeeper has their own qualities and their own uh, you know characteristics and. I think it's great to to be able to work together and I mean we can all learn from each other for sure. When was the last time you lost a goal in a competitive match? Uh well the the game against Real Madrid with Villarreal that was my last game over there in Spain last season. <laughs> um I take it that you're a lot busier in training with people like Larissa and Jacinta playing against you. Yeah, we have uh, some quality finishers in, in in the team, so it's really good to be training with them and just trying to to get uh, some saves out of them. <laughs> um, with the break for the World Cup coming up in November, um, it looks like there will be some women's games at Celtic Park. Um, have you heard what the atmosphere is like at these games and are you looking forward to it? Yeah, of course. I hope... Uh, I hope that uh, we can have that, that uh, that situations in the stadiums. Uh, it would be very good to to know to invite all the fans to also for them. It's a good experience to watch a women's game in a big stadium. So, yeah, just looking forward to it.